I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch, and in this video I'm doing a cookie comparison. I've got Twix cookies, which were 125 from Home Bargains, he said, consulting his bit of paper, and Aldi Jive cookies, which were 129 so very similar price, but these look very different, they really do. Now, I haven't tried either of these before. I don't know if they're new, but they're new to me, so that's the important thing. I have already reviewed the Jive Bar, and my conclusion on that was it was very, very similar to a Twix. But the best supermarket version of a Twix, in my opinion, is that one from Asda. I buy these really, I, I buy these things regularly and they are superb. They're better than a Twix, I think, because the caramel taste is, is stronger. They're so good. Anyway, back to the cookies. Right, now, Twix cookies. <clears throat> if you look at the script, the um, picture, it shows chunks. And on the description, it says crisp cookies so, they're not actually real cookies, are they, if they're crisp? Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that again. Yeah, crisp cookies containing milk chocolate drops and caramel pieces. Whereas, the Aldi version says soft and chewy jive cookies with an indulgent soft caramel centre. Now, these, these sound a lot better to me. Whether they will be or not, we will find out. Does it say anything else about them on the back as is interesting? Milk chocolate chip cookies with caramel flavour filling. Yeah, I won't go into all the ingredients. I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary there. Probably isn't. Right, <clears throat> let's try the Twix cookies first. If I can get into it. And I haven't got my scissors out, have I? Normally I have my scissors handy so I can undo these packs, but I didn't think I'd need them. Right. Let's have a look. There's the Twix cookies. They do smell good. They've got, they haven't got much of a chocolate smell, but they've got a, a sort of generic cookie smell about them. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in there. Right, let's undo the uh, Aldi version. Actually, I'll put the scissors down, see if I can undo this one without resorting to scissors. And I can. Wonders will never cease. Right. Hey. Have well, I got two? I've got two missing. Does it say how many should be in there? It doesn't say. But look. There's four there. There's only two there. I'm going to weigh that. I've got my scales here. I'm going to weigh it. <laughs> you might think I'm a bit sad, but I don't care what you think. Let's see what the weight should be. 160 grams. Oh, well, it's the right weight. Und well, 166 grams, so that's in the plastic tray. So perhaps there isn't one missing. Perhaps there should be that one there. Or two missing, I should say. It still looks as though they're short. Anyway. They are bigger than the uh, uh, Twix ones. Let's do a, a size comparison for you. Yeah, they're considerably bigger than the Twix ones. Right, Twix, Twix cookie. Let's have a go. It said it said it says crispy, crunchy, so.
They're not that crispy, <clears throat> but they're definitely not a soft cookie, definitely not. And I can't taste much chocolate. I said I couldn't smell much chocolate, I can't taste much chocolate either. They're boring. They're not horrible, they're just boring. You can hardly taste any chocolate, you can hardly taste any caramel. They're just a boring cookie. Oh, no, no, not uh, but, uh, <laughs> right, cleanse palette. <clears throat> now, as I said, I'm expecting these to be much better. And it said they're soft, soft and chewy. So let's do a bend test. Oh, yes. Oh yes, it's bending well. Are we going to get caramel pull? This is the question. Yes, we got a little bit of caramel pull there. We got caramel pull. Oh, oh! Instantly smell the caramel as well. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. I kind of knew it would be. Oh yeah. When you, although they do bend and you expect them to be really, really soft, when you put it in your mouth, they're not as soft as you think. But look, look at that. Oh, caramel pull. <laughs> Um, um, mmm. Right, as you already know, they've got a thumbs down. They've got an, an enormous thumb up. Even though I haven't got lost an enormous thumb. They're, they're lovely. The caramel taste is the, is the overpowering taste in that. To be honest, you can't really taste the chocolate much. I don't think you can. Let's, let's just have, a, have another go. Mm. <clears throat> right, to recap, the Twix cookies are boring. You can't taste chocolate, you don't, can't taste caramel, they don't taste like Twix. Don't buy them. The Aldi cookies. Mm. <laughs> a lovely aftertaste as well. Yeah. You can definitely taste the caramel. Definitely. That's the overriding taste in that. To be honest, you can't taste the chocolate much. You can a bit. But the, and the caramel is very sweet, very, very sweet in these, but that's fine by me. Do buy them. There we go. Simple. Don't do. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that. Oh, the, these, <laughs> these things ain't going to last. <laughs> Those, I, oh... Yeah, well, I've said it all, haven't I? I've said it all. Okay, let me know if you've tried either of those and what you think of them. And if you have tried these uh, Aldi ones, how many did you get in the pack? I got six. 
but it's the correct way so yeah yeah let me know all that stuff thanks for watching if you've liked this hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already please do consider subscribing um he said burping again which i quite often do at the end of my videos and again <laughs> yeah please consider subscribing and if you do drop a comment I will read it, I read every single comment, and I reply to most of them. I know there's some that I don't, but uh, yeah, I try and rep reply to most of them, because I think I think if you've, uh, if you've made the effort to make a comment, then I should make the effort to reply back. And I do to most of them. So, thank you. <sighs> Burpily, oh. <laughs> right, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Lovely.